Hello everybody, welcome back to Wendy's Curls. I am so excited to bring you this highly requested video of my entire wash day. I just finished taking my braids out, I detangled, and I will show you how I went from that to the super juicy, luscious, bouncy wash and go. <laughs> So first, I start off by sectioning my hair into about seven twists because I wash my hair in these twists just so it creates separation, doesn't get tangled, and it's just easier to manage. I usually do section by section, but I wanted to show you guys a big surface area, so I untwisted the entire back. So I'm putting the shampoo on my scalp mainly. I try not to get it on my hair shaft. So ladies, I did have a secret weapon this time. I teamed up with the company Vanity Plant to try out their Groove Scalp Massaging Shampoo Brush. And let me just say, this came in such handy after having braids. I only had to give my hair one wash. Just turn it on, it starts to vibrate, and you just circle around your head with it, massaging and cleaning your scalp at the same time. You can tell that this product was definitely made to keep in mind people with really dense and thick hair. So if you wanna try this device also, I got you guys 50% off. Check out the link in my description box and use the discount code, and you will receive your 50% off. I think you'll like it. I'm using an excessive amount of conditioner because that's what we do <laughs> and I'm placing the conditioner all over the hair really rubbing it in there my hair was pretty dry so I really wanted to make sure that it was getting that moisture back in then I go under the water again to detangle just to make it a little bit more slippery so that you are causing less breakage and less tangles I twist my hair back into place and move on to the next section. So now my hair is all clean and I'm going to do a deep conditioning treatment. So with my deep conditioners now, I try to put some oil on it before I put it in my hair. I think it just smooths it out a little bit more, makes it more shiny and moisturized. So after this, I will be sitting under the dryer for about 20 minutes. So this is my hair rinsed out after the deep conditioning treatment. So now I'm just going to place some more conditioner in it just to get a little bit more moisture locked in that thing. So this is my hair all clean, rinsed out with no product in it. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's already drying. My hair dries really fast. Now it's time for my quick, easy to do wash and go. I still work in sections. I love my sections. Um, so take a leave-in conditioner of your choice. I'm using Cantu um, and just passing it through the hair as my base before I apply gel. Now I'm taking my gel and I'm just going to put it directly over that. I'm just gonna palm my hands through as well as rake my fingers through the ends. Just to get some separation in that curl. Use as much gel as needed for your hair. The more gel you use, the less movement you usually have. So it's up to you what kind of look you want. I'm just going to take this back part and put it into a low ponytail to get a little stretch going as my hair dries. I'm only doing this to the bottom piece only because the bottom part of my hair shrinks really bad so I really wanted to get that good stretch. And everything else is just left hanging. So here's the final result of leave-in conditioner and gel throughout my whole head. I'm taking a hairpin and placing the front of my hair into place so that it dries that way. 
Now, I'm also diffusing because it was like 10 o'clock at night and I wasn't trying to go to bed with wet hair and I also wanted more volume. So I'm just going through and semi-diffusing my hair. So now my hair is semi-dry and I'm just going to take out the bottom ponytail, let it free and separate it a little bit. Then I'm just going to take out the hairpin and ruffle that hair back to place. And these are the final results. I hope you guys enjoyed this wash day and wash and go video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you next time. Bye!